Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangestani and in this video I'm going to explain the VCCT crack model in Abacus. As you might know, Abacus provides various methods to simulate crack propagation. One of them is VCCT, uh, that stands for Virtual Crack Closure Technique. This method is helpful for brittle materials and is based on the strain energy released from material. To simulate crack or fracture during the process, we need to input the damage property into the, our simulation but it is slightly different from the previous methods like XFEM because we are defining them in interaction module okay if you search for VCCT you might find Abacus documentation as the first results in Google and you can find helpful information about this method like how it works and the part that we are interested in is different methods of VCCT crack simulation like we can use BK law power law and different other methods but here we're gonna focus on BK law which was uh, generated in 1996 as you can see from the formula we might need to find the energy release rate in mode 1 2 and 3 and also the power so here we're not gonna explain the other methods but the difference is that they might have different accuracy if we're not trying to explain them here but you might find them interesting for your research for modeling part we require to simulate two plate with the width of 20 unit and 100 length and 80 the other one so uh, there are two plates attached together and there's a part that we assume that we build them the circle shape here the dimension of this circle is arbitrary we are not focused on very detailed uh, information here okay these are the material input that we're going to use as you might see we use the young uh, the young modulus of 200 e3 so you might understand that we are using the unit of centimeter so that's why we are using 200 e3 here and um, the unit for uh, stress is megapascal and these are the information for energy release rate of mode 1 2 3 and the power of 1 so it's like a linear equation but we could have i mean for different materials we might have different material properties so the, again these information are arbitrary and we only try to simulate the process for arbitrary material but for your research you might need to find more detailed information and, and input okay and after simulating the process in the results section you can see plates are the form and you, the part that we welded and you also can see failure between these two plates so i think i explained all the information that we require for the simulation and now we can go to abacus to see how we can simulate the model so stay tuned okay to create the model we start with geometry we first go with the top plate we put 100 in here and shell planner and uh, we can continue for top we select 80 and x direction and 20 in y direction and 0 for the other point okay and we create another one bottom uh, I'm gonna call it bottom okay and here it should be 120 and 0 is the second point done okay and we can go to property for property we only need to define the elastic young modulus so in here 200 e3 and 0 0.3 okay and we create planar homogeneous and we set the value of 2 in here everything's okay and uh, we can assign so it's the bottom one so bottom we select it we put it from top surface for the top plate 
we say it from bottom surface okay and we go to assembly we bring both plate we need to move the top one on the right so we select it and we move it from here to here okay now we push the ok button and we can go to a step for a step we don't need to specify very uh, important thing we can just say an lgm on and we can we are good to go but before continuing we need to go here and for fracture we can uh, we can select a few options so i would like to take this and d3 okay we can go to interaction for interaction but before going to interaction because i want to define a set based on the nodes i would like to uh, assign the mesh first so i select the mod uh, the part i set the value of three uh, it should be five or or even we can make it make it uh, more precise like two yep it's good and okay for bottom one we do the same okay you can do it great and we go back to inter interaction for interaction we need to define the property contact first so here we need to define fraction failure so i set the value of um, one eight eight one okay we don't change the other thing but here because uh, we define the material property on based on uh, the top and bottom surface we need to assign the out of place uh, surface thickness uh, so this uh, we put the value of 2 which is the the par uh, the plate thickness and now we can define the surface to the surface contact we first select the top plate for uh, master the color should be purple which is underneath it and the other one should be surface we select this one and brown okay this one should be a small sliding and uh, not the surface but we don't need to change the other thing except here we need to uniform uh, you need to define a clear clearance uh, a value of um, a small value like um, 1e minus 9 for example and then uh, we can go to bonding and uh, in here we need to define a set so i i i uncheck this one and then i can go and look at the plate and from the top view first we need to go to set create and notes okay then i can select the region that i want to define my welded area so i select this one this one this this we can make it uh, in the bare shape but now because we just wanted to show you how it works uh, you can easily skip it so we can imagine that it's a circular shape okay I think it should be fine uh, we, we also can select these two yes great now we push the thumb bottom and we can go to the interaction and we select the clear uh, the bonding set one okay great and now we can um, we need to define the crack based on vcct so if you go here in a uh, special crack create we already talk about the other options but here we want to talk about the, the bonding the bond using vcct in here we select our step and here we select our interaction i um, mean in the, the contact surface that we define and we can go to 
load for load we need to fix this region and pull this region so we're gonna fix not this one uh, we need to select edge this region actually wait a sec uh, actually I'm gonna select this one here we fix it and uh, for the other one I select this one and I pull it from this side for the value of 0 0.1 okay it's good we can go to mesh is good and we can go to create a job we create a job and we submit the model okay we need to wait to solve the model as you see the job is completed and we can see the results here you can see the stress distribution in the plate and um, you can see it in here we're good and um, uh, also if you want to see the displacement uh, how it's uh, moves you can see in here sometimes we need to make it uh, we can scale it to make it uh, obvious for example 20 okay and you can see how it was bended and it was attached from here and the crack is in here so and you can see it in here the area that we selected for crack one two and three it's assembly okay i think that's pretty much all of it i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question and if you have any request please let me know so we can uh, help you with your question and problem until the next video bye this video was made by reza tangistani to find his contact information and his updated resume please visit our website at hyperlyceum.com Reza is an expert in Abacus, Python, Fortran, SolidWorks, and a few other engineering software. To plan an online session and discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email under Reza's contact. The cost of projects vary depending on complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We look forward to working with you.